but a moral right to do so. So many of our forebears did so to come to this country. And we don't care about your background, we don't care about your religion, we don't care about the things that divide us, only the things that unite. And in this country, there are groups of people like this who are united through humanity, through compassion, and through what we want to see Australia become. More than that, I believe this is what Australia is. We've just veered a little bit, some would say a long way, from where we should be. This is what Australia is about. If I was to say anything to the, to the government today is that you should be proud of this gathering. This gathering is what the country is about. And we are asking for compassion for this family, but more than that, we want to see a different discussion in regards to refugees and asylum seekers. It is, it is a growing issue around the world for a whole variety of reasons. And uh, Australia has victimised and demonised a section of our community, both here and sadly and horribly offshore. That should never have happened, but it's up to us to rescue that discussion. I'm here to tell you that I believe Australia is ready to do that. I believe in the compassion of Australia. I believe that this country is a caring one. And thirdly, I do believe strongly in people power. We saw that earlier this year when you, all of our citizens in this country, were able to stand up for one young refugee boy uh, who was in trouble abroad. And today you're doing so for this family. My message to the rest of the country is we're with you and you're with us. We're all the same, and we all need to do this today for this family and all other refugees in this country. Dreaming in fear while their mother was dragged has been imprinted in my heart. For four years, Frida and Nades worked hard to contribute to Biloela. Their two beautiful Australian born girls were, were born in the Biloela local hospital. Nades volunteered and Frida participated in church and even cooked for the doctors in the hospital. And today they're 3,300 kilometers away in Christmas Island Detention Center. And this family needs us. They need mothers and grandmothers. They need fathers. They need everyone to stand for them. Because every time Peter Dutton says this family must go home,